All right, everyone, we are back here uh, at the Rip Callahan Memorial Open, NEBA's 1,000th tournament. We are in the uh, semifinals. Uh, we got our two pairs right here in front of us on 27 and 8. We have Jeremy Melito taking on Alex Aguiar. And then on 29 and 30, we have Nate Clark taking on Joe DePetto. Uh, again, do want to thank all of our sponsors here. Uh, without these guys, you know, none of this would be possible. Uh, starting off again here with Tony and Susan Raynaud. Uh, East Mitchell Bowling Supplies, Billy Grazan, Better Bowling Concepts, William Daly, Storm Products International, Leon Holzenberg, Buddy's Pro Shop, Chris Forey, uh, Cambridge, uh, Cambridge Credit Counseling, Chris Vialli, Logo Infusion, Kenny Keegan, Strike Effects Pro Shops, John Van Hees, and of course Aguiar uh, bowling here in our semifinal match. Um, Bowl Winkles Pro Shop, uh, Rich Reynolds, uh, Chris Sand, Turbo Grips, Bruce Hall here next to me, Tech Vision, uh, Yankee Lanes Keen and Manchester, Jeff Barden, Al Casper, Savage Arms, uh, Lisa Callahan, Callahan's Bolarama, the whole Callahan family here, uh, DJ's Pro Shop, John Zawalik, Many Styles of Bowling, Lou Marlowe, Bloomfield Electric, Roger Burrell. I, bet I have to Gio fix you, La LaRue. LaRue, I my, apologize. My, my buddy LaRue. LaRue, yeah, sorry, Marlowe, sorry. Bloomfield Electric, <laughs> Roger go. Burrell. There you go. Uh, GMS Concrete, Clay Schwartz, uh, Dexter, Paul Sylvia, KR Strike Force, Tony Mendiola, uh, Grog Monster Sports, Greg Flamond, East Coast Sports Investors, Jeff Dawson, Ideal Bowling Concepts, Keith Lang, uh, DJBT, Jeff Purchase, UseBowlingBalls.com, Mitchell Pincus, and of course, uh, Joe Farley over at Island Bowling Supply. Again, thank you to all of our sponsors. And Bruce, we are one match away from our finals. Uh, calendar tells us it's Sunday. So again, final match. You just got to like and share the live feed. You have a chance for a uh, free bowling ball. We raffle right. off two of those every uh, live stream on a Sunday uh, live stream. So uh, we're going to be giving just away like two it, more just, balls this week. Just like and share the feed. We're already getting some amazing viewership numbers. So go ahead and like and share the feed anyway this round. But next round, if you do it, you'll automatically enter it in one of those balls. We will contact you and ask you wait in your address, and you will get a ball of Island Bowling Supplies choice. So Joe Farley, of course, and Peter Hakem, my friend. I go all the way back when we were teenagers, Peter Hakem and I, in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and the guy strikes in the tent to snap me off for a regional title. So Peter Hakem, of course, going on to win a national title at um, uh, down there in um, um, Long Island. And I'll think of the house in a minute. Just had a brain freeze. But a lot of history with Peter, great guy. And here's Alex picking up right where he left off, throwing that uh, summit. That summit, absolutely. You know, the summit's been described as a, a phase two, just kind of the next level up a little bit, a little bit more stronger weight block and a little bit stronger cover. And he's ripping on it. Yeah, and you're going to see Jeremy here. He's throwing the uh, the EJ VIP Sigma. Um, looks like Nate Clark's in that new Tour Dynamics. Yep. And if I am correct, I think Joe DePetto is actually throwing a Phase 2. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Yep. Um, got three guys here throwing the Storm products. Uh, Jeremy is on Motive staff, so he'll be throwing the Motive ball. But And, of course, Storm's such a great sponsor. We give away two Storm balls every tournament, one to the first out of the cut and one to a raffle. And who are those? Do you have those names? Handy. Oh, yeah. Um, shuffling some papers. Got them right here for you, you, Bruce. Go. So the uh, the ball raffle winner was actually Zach Tobin. And our first out of the cut was uh, none other than Ditto Fitzpatrick. Ditto. All right, buddy. Hey, I didn't see Ian this week. He, he was here. He, was he here? He was here. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Was, uh, they were winners up in Keene on the doubles. Ian. Yeah, him and uh, Perry, correct? Ian is, yes. Beat his brother. Ian and Nate. Matt. Yep. yep. And Nate's back here in the round of four. Yep. Nate starts with the front two. Yeah. We'll call that three. <laughs> Joe Navarro, never seen Jeremy <laughs> Melito that deep. Yeah, I think he's inside a seven. Uh, <laughs> Joey, yeah, that's good. Actually, I, I, I like Jeremy, uh, the way he's playing these lanes. Um, Martel was a little bit deeper in swinging it, and he got burned by a couple of seven pins later in the match, and I think that might have been why. And Jeremy just went strike spare sheet for 280. So, you know, I think he's got to look to keep going, to just keep doing that. And so I saw a couple out, shots in practice where it he, hung a little bit. As soon as we say that, there's a smash 10 pin right over the top. 
There's the announcer's there's curse. There's the announcer's for you. curse. Is it? It's because he beat your pick, isn't it? Uh, maybe you, you did that. I, I did black pick. I did, I did. I did pick <laughs> Lichtenstein. I did not. Well, I did not intentionally black cloud him. I don't. I don't do that. But it was just that we were commenting. He may never miss again, and then he goes smash ten. So, pretty pretty remarkable. So. I, I think Jeremy's kind of gone through the ringer here. His last three matches have been uh, John Van Hees, Michael Lickstein, Alex Aguiar. Yeah, this will be a title to remember yeah, if he gets through a, this. That's, that's right. the ringer if I've ever heard it. And that's right. Well, and, you know, the cream rises. You know, you look at the added money. You look at the number of entries. Uh, look at the guys left. Right. What did we say for Andrews? 340? 341 entries. 341. 64 qualifiers. 47 seniors. 36 super seniors. 20 women. High qualifier Adam Chase at 12.44. The cuts were 11.44 at 2 p.m. We had a full squad at Saturday at 2 p.m. 11.44 cut. We had a, about 44. We had 44 entries on 6 p.m. 10.91 cut. And Alex threw the beak. He knew that one as soon as he let it go. Uh, Saturday 9 a.m. was full with 98 entries, and Saturday at 12.30. Excuse me, Sunday at 12.30 mm -hmm. was 100 entries exactly because we had people waiting, trying to get back in, trying to re-enter. So we had three, essentially three full squads and one squad of 40. So that makes 341 entries. Yep, we took um, 64 to match play. Yep. Um, no buys. No 60, buys, You know, right. just 64. Uh, lose your out. You know. Yeah, the only reason we ever use buys, Carl, is to get to, to get to the round of 32. So if we have 40, we'll do a buy. If we have 48, we'll do buys. You know, but that, but we'll never do like two buys. We'll just do one buy to try mm -hmm. to get to the round of 32 and then run the match play from there. So Alex had a chance to really jump ahead here and could not do it. Went through the beak. Yeah, Nate's looking to jump out to a big lead on the front three, walking it out. And First, boy, give it to him. Nate is looking just cool as a cucumber. My lord, I wonder if I have to switch horses here, buddy. <laughs> And we are here at Callahan's uh, Bolarama. Again, just want to give them a big shout out uh, here in Newington, Connecticut. And we do have some other upcoming events here in the next few weeks. Um, as I mentioned before, we have uh, the Yankee Lane Singles that's going to be held on September 16th and 17th. Uh, also on the 16th, they're going to have the senior event as well as the Women's Open. Uh, those are all in Manchester, New Hampshire. Yeah, I was going to say, let's make sure you don't go to Keene. Yes. It is Yankee first time Lanes. In, uh, <laughs> first time in Manchester. It is Yankee Lanes, Manchester. And then uh, October 1st is the Neva Masters. That's so right. uh, another major coming up. That's going to be in that? Auburn. That's Auburn. Your, uh, My neck of the woods. Your neck of the woods. Well, they can, they can make them hard for me, too, there. It works fine. <laughs> so we'll see. I'll definitely be there, but we'll see how it goes. So and Nate stepping up here Nate on the front four. For the fifth one, a little bit high, does not leave the four nine. That leaves the four pin, but he's cool as a cucumber still. He's looking great. Yeah, walking back, telling himself, good shot. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Melito can get back and actually take the lead here. Yep. He can double. And that's right up six. Oh, rips the rack, flying Farkle. That was almost a 7-10 Farkle. How many of those have we seen in match plays? A so lot, a, a lot. A lot of jumping pins here. A lot of, a lot of different variations of Farkle. And there's Nate, no trouble on the four pin. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. What a great night we're having. It's 9 o'clock. And we're here in a round of four. That's what happens when you have two full squads, five and five. And we had a really nice ceremony. Kyle, thanks so much for, for running that ceremony for us. We called out past presidents, tournament directors, um, secretary treasurers, managers, uh, Hall of Famers, champions. Uh, and uh, Alex actually gave a special tribute to Chris Forey, which was very nice. Uh, at the end, so it was really Absolutely. good. Absolutely. And if I remember yeah. correctly, we had somebody watching from Australia. We did. So yeah, good morning did. to you so, there. Yeah, good morning. That's right. 15 hours ahead. And or in this case, Jeremy good afternoon. Comes and he up and it. dead flushes it. And Jeremy Mulejo does, in fact, take the lead. And there is Joe coming up light on the right lane, and he's substantially behind to Nate Clark. Somebody has to show the scores. We can do that. This is the um, Alex Aguiar. Uh, uh, Jeremy Melito match. Jeremy's on the left. He just doubled. And this is the uh, DePetto match. DePetto just Mitch missed on the right lane. And you can see that Nate has the front four. 
over there. So. Yeah, trouble on the 2 8 there. Let's right. see if Alex can double up here and take the lead back. So, as a first shot in the right lane, I've seen Alex where he knew it wasn't, you know, where he wanted to be on the lane. So, let's see if he can bounce back here on this right lane. It's pretty good. I rips think he liked that one. Rips the 10 out. Yeah, if we're going to start calling people out like Chris Forey, there, there's a number of other people we really have to call out. One is Becky Craigling. She's 24 years uh, NEBA manager. <laughs> and Danny Kay took over that. President, uh, those tournament shoes director. This year. She's, President, done she's done everything. Tournament titleist. Uh, Ti you know, titleist. That. And uh, Hall of Famer. Also, we got a shout <laughs> out Christopher Vialli. And Amy Vialli did all of the, the uh, graphics for what we're looking at here for our tournament. So, some great work there. Christopher Vialli, of course doing all of the promotion with their sponsors. And by the way, the Northeast Megabucks Tournament is now open for entries. That do opened August that. 1st. And do not miss that tournament. Finish your turkey and then go bowl at Chicopee. That's the way it works. Uh, so that entire Thanksgiving weekend, the Northeast Megabucks Tournament coming up. You cannot miss that one. And Alex coming up, rips the rack to shreds. Takes the lead back. And takes the lead, had the lead back. Yep. And takes it and gets it by 18 now. So, so many people that have, uh, and thanks for calling that out, uh, Janine, and so many people uh, that, that contribute and keep Neba going, you know, and having Danny now in the manager position and as a backup for TD uh, is just is just a great situation. And Alex now 278 on the out. Jeremy's 270. And Jeremy Melito 270 on the out, so Alex... Taking advantage of this match. And we got Nate here on 29 and 30, stepping up on the right lane. Front four and nine spare. Uh, DePetto is yet to double, but he's still clean. Jeremy likes that one. Yeah, a little, looks like he got on that one a little side, but turns right off the dry and flushes. I really, really like that angle. You know why I like it? That's how I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> so why not? A little validation. And Nate Clark Great dead flush. I'll tell you, Nate is just looking strong. Both these guys there's are looking a, tough. There's another storyline. If Alex wins and Nate wins, Nate's bowling his he's bowling his boss. <laughs> um, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Is that considered a conflict of interest? Uh, you know, they'll have to work <laughs> that out themselves. You know, they they may agree to split the money. You never know, you know, just to, you know, just to avoid any workplace friction, as it were. But, hey, who knows? You know, we'll see what happens. All right, Jeremy stepping up here on the left lane. Can take the lead back. Yep. It's a seesaw match. But Alex with the higher score on the out. And Melito straight up the pike, gets Loves it, flushes it. it. These guys are just shredding racks. Unbelievable power. And... Theoretically, Jeremy, the third frame, he left that atomic 10-pin. He could theoretically have nine spare six-bagger. Yes, he so. could. Nate got that one to the right and it peeled off the dry. Comes back up, smashes the 10. Now he's got a four-bagger and a double. And as you say, Joe DePetto yet to double. Joe had better get moving right now. That uh, tour dynamics that Nate's throwing, I was at East Providence, pulled a tournament a few weeks ago. And uh, Nate talked to me a lot about that ball. He said, I think this is going to be one of my new favorites. Mm. And uh, I'm starting to see why. Yeah, we've seen that one. We've seen the clone come out, the UFO clone. Yep. Actually, couple, I, I drilled that rocks. ball myself. Yep. So that's left. But it laid off on the oil. Wow. Alex got that left, but it almost looked like he took a, took a little off it and rolled it forward. But it went right down the oil, laid off and packed. Depetto right. needs a double here, though. And right, he gets, gets, the, gets it. That one. Well, there's one. So Joe trying to stay in this match. He's got 238 on the out. Uh, and right now, He's gonna need some Nate help. is pacing to 239. So he'll need a little bit of help from Nate. For example, don't throw the last four at me. That's fair. <laughs> Which Nate is, I think, very much tempted to do because he's throwing it great. Alex stepping up here on 27. Yeah, he's got the one double at the beginning compared to that smash 10. Really, uh, Jeremy should have the lead in this match because of that smash 10. That's the only reason he doesn't. Now, Alex.
Alex again. Got through it good, smashes it. Boom. Keeping the 278 alive. Great shot. And I now, said you're not going to see any emotion out of him until he gets the one he needs. Well, he ran that one out a little bit. He, he, knew, he, he knew he wanted it. And there's oh. a beautiful shot by DePetto. And what does it do? Smash nine. Thank you so much for nothing. Great to see everybody out tonight. It's uh, 10 after 9. We're here in a round of four at Callahan's Bolarama. It's the Rip Callahan Memorial Open, Neva's 1,000th tournament. Thanks, everybody, for getting us here. Thanks to our sponsors, everybody who runs the tournament. Thanks to you, Kyle, for being on the mic tonight and uh, these great players giving us a heck of a show. All right, Jeremy looking to keep Malito pace. needs it. Got that a little right, right a little bit. Oh, a little laid off on the oil, the but, but, it, but it turned up, and he's got so much power that he saw as a rack apart. And unfortunately, Joe DePetto, I think, is pretty much toast. Still an he unbelievable tournament for him. 1 8, 2 18, and Nate Clark already pacing to 2 30s. So Nate would need to go open, open, which I don't think you're going to see. Now we'll see how we do here. Here's Melito re-racking, so both these guys have the last five in a row, Melito and Alex. Yeah, it looks like the, uh, the it's a little tight on that rag. I could see why he's re-racking it. Yeah, so. yeah. There that was some, screams there was ring some, seven. There was some, yeah, uh, believe me. I, I take <laughs> re-racks all the time for that reason. So I, I know what to look for. And uh, Nate gets the nudge on the 10 pin, and that will do it pretty much. Only needed eight frames to take care of this match on 29 and 30, and that will do it. And Melito here, once again, this gets him the lead back, right? Yeah, if he yep. gets this one, it gets him the lead back. He puts the pressure back on Alex. That rack isn't great either, but you think he likes it better than the other one. Yeah, that two pin is tight. It's tight. I think I remember it's this tight. pair. He flat but seven you know, in the first frame, and then he left that atomic 10 pin. Right. In the third. So it's this lane that's gotten him twice. And Likes turn it. it up. Oh, well, there it's the oh. seven pin, but it doesn't matter. He gets the roller. He gets the Farkle. The head of the pin went over and just jabbed at that seven pin and took it out. Right. Nate looking to stay and loose. And oh, yeah. Ace, he knows it. Oh, yeah. He's going to be bowling for a He's title. He's there. He's there. It'll be his first title. Imagine if it's Alex. It'll be 27 titles versus zero. Still averages so, to 13. So what does Jeremy have? Two, did you say? I believe it's two. Oh, two? Yeah. Um, I know he has a major. Okay. And I think he won one other singles event, if we'll I'm not up. mistaken. Now, if Alex can't get this one, he may not catch up. He really needs this one to take the lead back. Look how he moved further left. Yeah, he hopped a little bit at the line, and he smashes, and he gets the 10. He gets the 10 to go. There's a little bit of emotion. I don't think anybody thought he left. A little bit of anger. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't me. Certainly wasn't me. I think that one might have been uh, targeted at the crowd. He might have been. Yeah. So Jeremy well, didn't you really. Know, you know, it's the, uh, the rowdy. Long Island crowd that's behind they, Jeremy. They do right? travel well. They do. They do travel they well. They really do. So when you're bowling one of their guys, you're bowling all of them. That's pretty much it. So Alex, ball in hand here. If he can double, get to 270, it's game over. Yep. Double here. Double yeah. here. Alex is in the finals. I don't think I've ever seen him get that excited. That was pretty exciting. That was, that was a you, new one for he's me. Pretty, he's pretty, uh, pretty fired up. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if he can translate it into a double and close this out. He likes yeah, that looks one. Looks good. Right dead flush. Perfect shot. That summit is cooking through the pins. Unbelievable. And pretty good pretty good applause for that one. So I can't say that uh, there's home field advantage here. One more for Alex to end this match. 
Imagine this. He's in the 260s. He needs this one to close it out. It's very like similar that? to the Lickstein match. Right? Very similar. How do you like that? needs it to close it out. Jeremy Melito hoping he gets a chance to double in the 10th and steal this one. Rocks back and forth. Ball away. And dead flush. No doubt about that, baby. No doubt about that one. Alex giving the crowd the business. And that's in the finals. Alex Aguiar looking strong, flushing every shot. And got Nate's realizing Nate's he's got to like, ball him in the final. I know. Nate's like, wow. <laughs> His boss. Nate, Nate doesn't want to get rolled over. Here we go. Alex walking around. He doesn't realize he's got to make one more shot. If he's getting the ball or what? Oh, he's, he's doing, going to the so. championship there. That's oh, where he's yes, going. Yes, he is. Yeah, he put so. his stuff down on 31 and 2. He knows where go. he's going. There you go. Fuel that anger. Oh, we already have a prediction. Nate's going to win. Here we go. Hey, Alex, you need one more shot. You need one more he shot. Throw the you got to throw the fill ball. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's why we're here. That's, uh, Alex yeah. thought he was done. <laughs> yeah, hit the head pin. That's it. Very good, go. yes. <laughs> All right, everybody applauding Alex. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alex gets his last shot in. 278. Alex Aguiar, one miss. Now, Jeremy Melito is going to get He's this. He's going to bowl 260 how, how or 270. Big is, how big is that smash 10 pin in the, in the third? He goes smash 10 in the third. If he gets that, he can win. He can win 280 to 270. Unbelievable. Hey, you know, it's just the, the, the rub of the they're, green. They're going to miss gonna do, so. three times accumulatively. Anyway. And oh. That's unbelievable match. It just, Jeremy so. missed in the wrong spots. Oh, he twirls on that one. Look at that. Man. He gives it a twirl, and of course uh. he doesn't carry it. <laughs> but great showing by Jeremy Melito. And it will be Nate Clark and Alex Aguiar in the final. Alex going for title number 28, and Nate going for number one. So, Corona. And that will be it. We'll be right back for the final, everybody. It's going to be a barn burner. We'll be back in a minute. Thanks.